Let's talk about a new technological breakthrough and that's quantum supremacy. Now this whole idea of quantum supremacy is based on quantum theory. Quantum theory talks about the behavior of energy and matter at an atomic or a subatomic level. So this uh, process itself involves qubits. Now qubits involves understanding 0 and 1 simultaneously. However, when we talk about bits, uh, which is in a normal computing system, it's just 0 and 1. Now, let's say if I take 3 qubits, what would be the possible combinations? It would be 2 raised to power 3. So, there, there are 8 combinations that are there. When I take 4 qubits, it would be 2 raised to power 4. When it's 54 cub, uh, 50, uh, 4 qubits, let's say, it would be 2 raised to power 54 and so on and so forth. Now, this technology enhancement has been uh, laid down by numerous uh, institutions at a go. So, the recent one that we talk about is Sigmore and that is a project by Google and UCSB. Now under this project what was done was a kind of computing devices and circuits were made and these circuits were run parallel on a computing system and the qubits. At a point the computers were able to solve the problems but as and as the complexity grew it became difficult for the computers to solve it but qubit was able to solve it. So the idea was the Sigmore problem was solved by a qubit in 200 seconds. However, if the same problem was given to a normal computer it could take around 10,000 years. So the this is the kind of development we are thinking about. Now definitely you might have a question what's the benefit of going through this revolution. So this technology of quantum computing would definitely be useful in lot of medical uh, ideas to treat illnesses to make much more efficient devices but a bigger burden here is the cost. So the critical mass adoption is the main uh, thing that we need to work on. The next important thing is a kind of little overview about it. So Preskill was the one who started the idea of uh, quantum computing. Yuri Manin and Richard Finman were uh, the ones based on whose proposals this whole idea has been going forward with. As of now, you have three of the companies that are working with quantum computers. Those are IBM Q computers. Then you have D-Wave and Rigid. Similarly, under this whole idea of quantum supremacy, there are two things that we understand. The first is quantum ent entanglement and the second is superposition. So uh, those are the important things, really, really important for your upcoming examinations and we'll be bringing many such upcoming topics, technological advancements for you. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.